Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So this is uh, my new GoPro 3 Plus, the black edition, and this is the camera that I'm going to be using when I'm scuba diving out in Lake Malawi um, come September this year. So most of you who follow me on Facebook and Twitter and my other social media sites already know that I've bought this and I've also bought quite a few accessories to go with it. You're probably thinking why have I bought it so early in the year? Well that's because I'm going to be obviously scuba diving over in the UK. Plus I want to be trying out a huge uh, variety of um, filters to go actually on the GoPro. So I want to make sure everything's right before I head out to Lake Malawi in September. So this is not going to be a comparison sort of video. I just want to unbox it in front of the camera so you guys can get can get to see what comes inside of it. Just in case um, you know you might not have a GoPro, you've never probably seen an unboxing video of it. There is lots out there, um, but I wanted to do this on my channel so you guys get to get to see what I'm going to be recording with out in Lake Malawi as well. So what I'll do, I'll start unboxing things and then we'll go through some of the accessories that I've bought to go along with the camera. So as you can see on the box, uh, there's most of the specs there. And it does come with a few accessories as well, but not a huge uh, amount. So if you're into extreme sports, you know, that, that, that type of stuff, um, scuba diving, snorkeling, it's a brilliant camera. I've watched so many reviews, um, videos underwater, people skiing, people um, motocross, anything like that. And this camera holds up really well, so let's get into it. Take these little tabs off the side just to... So this is the Wi-Fi remote and that will come off in a second as well. This is apparently waterproof as well, so around about 3 meters uh, from what I've seen on all the videos. So. This might come in handy for a variety of things as well. To show you how it's all packaged. So this is in the waterproof uh, housing at the moment, so so once you remove it from the top, there's these two bits that you just push together and then you should be able to push the camera forward and it just slides off. Don't throw away this bit if you ever get this camera because this can be used for a mount as well. So it just fits on. So we'll just remove it from its case and I can give you a better look at the actual camera itself. So this is a new um, updated clasp than the last edition of the GoPro. So you can see it's all sealed all the way around here and then the camera just pops out. So you wouldn't think a little tiny camera like this is so powerful. But obviously that's where the, the battery fits in. And here's where your SD card will go and all your HDMI adapters, TV, etc. So let's have a look what else came in the actual box.
got all the instructions, some GoPro stickers. And that's definitely the, <laughs> that's a large manual. There's so many videos on YouTube about uh, all the hints and tips that you can just probably bypass that whole book, to be honest. So this is the uh, the other back door that you get. It's open, so it allows a bit more of your um, obviously <laughs> the voice and sound to get through the case. So it's really good for outdoor recording, I would guess. Ooh, this one here is the Wi-Fi remote charger. Then you have another mount. It looks like that one will also slide on. To that one. I think this is a three way. Before we go into there, you can tell they were well made as well. I guess so for the price you pay for it. HDMI cable. Um, is it the HDMI? Oh no, that's the from the camera USB to the to the laptop PC etc. Then you have some adhesive mounts. I think this one is like the uh, helmet and everything like that. I think you have one curved. Yep, that one there. And then your one that's flat. Ring for the for the Wi-Fi remote, the battery. The good thing about this um, camera, they've updated the the battery life as well on it. So I will be getting some backup batteries uh, as well, probably another two or three actually. So that's pretty much everything that comes inside the box. Um, so have another look at the GoPro. Okay, so most of the stuff that I've sourced is third party. There's a couple of things um, that I really needed uh, to buy sort of now when I'm scuba diving out in the UK. So the first thing uh, that I went for was a, a decent case that's protected and um, hardened on the outside. I'm not 100% sure that it's going to be waterproof. I'll probably get another one uh, before I go out to Lake Malawi. Um, so in here, this is what's called a bobber, so you have your GoPro attached to the end here, obviously this bit goes around your wrist and it tightens etc. So when you're filming um, and if you happen to get out your hand, basically this turns upside down and then floats at the top of the water. Apparently you can also use this uh, to film underwater as this bit floats on top of uh, the water of the camera here looking back at you. So that will probably come in handy for a few things. So this is um, a monopod, probably already know what it is, it just extends and gives me basically a lot of uh, <laughs> distance away from my face if I'm filming. Uh, uh, this one I'm not, not going to be using under the water, obviously I'm going to be getting a go pole um, that you can use under water that also floats as well. But then it comes with a tripod mount as well so it's, I can just adjust it. Again, that comes with a little handle, but that's going to be coming really handy. Then I picked up a, a mount. So if I got the, the camera out of its plastic case, then this fits to the monopod and tripods as well. And it gives you better clarity with the, the sound. So this is clipped around the actual GoPro. And then you've got the clasp bit there, or you can attach the, the bipod mount, mount to it. Anywhere you go, it just fits into the mount. Pretty easy. And then because the actual camera doesn't come with any lens covers, um, basically this one here covers uh, the lens when it's actually in its protective housing and when it's not, that one there. So 
definitely a must. You don't want to get scratches. Now you've got to be careful when you're buying your, your, your micro um, SD memory for the GoPro. There's only a certain sort of types that you can use, so be sure to check out their website. They have a huge list. So I went with the, the SanDisk Extreme Plus. Uh, it's a really high speed card, so when you're filming in really high resolution with the camera, it's sending a lot of um, memory to uh, the, the actual SD card. So it has to be quick enough to cope with it unless it's just going to start turning off. And you'll watch numerous videos, people explaining uh, which type of memory card to go through. Make sure it's a class 10 as well. So I picked this up from, from eBay, uh, I think it was around about... 35 pound so that's a 32 gig pretty good deal I've seen some really expensive um, prices you know for the exact same card so I think the, the bobber um, was around about six pound again the caps around about eight pound I think the monopod um, was around about ten pound the camera mount, I think again, five or six pound. Uh, what else? So, which is definitely a must if you are sort of scuba diving and stuff. Is anti-fog inserts. I got 12 for about eight pound and these fit inside the, the plastic or the waterproof housing. And all you do, uh, it, it, there is instructions with it. it. It basically, it says heat it up make sure to get remove any excess uh, moisture that's inside and then you place these in and you can reuse them if you don't have them apparently the the casing does fog up and I don't want to be you know under the water and it starts fogging up and it's just going to mess with my die time so I thought that's definitely a plus that's definitely something that I need to to go with so I picked I think 12 up for about eight pound and the reusable so that's a good thing so the case has um, enough slots for, for two cameras and then all my bits and bobs, accessories will be going in here and you could fit more batteries on this side. You can fit pretty much quite a lot in here but I'm probably going to be buying a lot more accessories, I'm already addicted to it already. Uh, I've got a, another package coming um, that's going to have a head mount, chest mount, other types of pivot mounts and stuff like that. So. I'll be using them and I'll do another video of that as well. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Any questions in the comment? I'm not a GoPro expert. I just wanted to unopen it um, in front of the camera so you guys will experience me opening it at the same time. I've had this camera now for, I think it's coming up to almost a week, maybe a week and a half. And I just found some time to un unopen it and I wanted to film it. So thank you for watching and take care, guys.